What's up, y'all? It's your boy Deanna Mtumkulu, Sadafkin Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Honest Trailer WandoVision right now. I'm mad excited. Let's not waste any more time and just dive right in. The following broadcast is rated S for spoilers. Do you like TV shows? Yes. How about a TV show about some TV shows? Yes. How about some TV shows that is a TV show? Yes. By the characters inside a, a TV, TV show. show. Yes. WandaVision, the TV show. You said, huh, when they bonded over their vaguely defined superpowers. I'm still me, I think. He about to dissect their relationship said, right now? Okay, when they dated for two years off camera. Wanda, for two years, we stole these moments. And you thought, well, I guess that's over when this happened. Ooh. But ever since Cap left Bucky for this home wrecker, <laughs> Wanda and Vision are the closest thing Marvel has to a relationship. <laughs> even though she's torturing a small town with her mind. When you let us sleep, we have your nightmares. <gasps> your grief is poisoning us. And he's her imaginary vibrator programmed only to love. You can't control Ooh. the way you do them. Can't I? Watch this power couple cosplay through some of history's most elaborate Cosplay. <laughs> Probably just to go seven Mondays. To Malcolm in the middle. It's long been weird since Uncle Pietro got here. To the show's boomers love because they literally had no other options. Take out the papers and the trash. Or you will get no spending cash. It was so off rhythm. While this supercomputer manages to calculate something about all this might not be on the up and up. I have questions. What is it? How did this happen? She came here because yeah, that was everybody's base form. What the hell is happening? Why would you think that? Because you are. Because the big question of the series isn't so much what's gonna happen, but more what the f is even happening. Like I said. I don't know, and I don't know. In a story that's really about Wanda's grief and finding acceptance. The acceptance that no matter how original a Marvel thing starts off, it still has to end with a sky beam and two CGI dolls <laughs> throwing particle effects at each other. <laughs> it's just so meaningful. This reminds me of my own struggles. I'm sorry, just wait a second. But there's more to the show than an expanding red bubble of sadness that makes America great again. Hmm. Step outside the hex to meet characters like Darcy, the latest face of Marvel's imagery and campaign <laughs> for Thor The Dark World. <laughs> They're really trying to convince us this was a good movie. Ever love and Monica Rambo, who grows from a knowing commentary on TV's black best friend trope into an actual example of TV's black best friend trope. <laughs> They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. And finally, into a superhero who could one day become Marvel's first black best friend trope. <laughs> Space. Together, they'll take on some brand new villains like this generic military jerk ass Dottie, who. Actually, that it doesn't really matter. And the head which in charge. There's so many Mephisto theories that popped up that and two parts that was so wrong. And I killed Sparky too. Cruella Deville, I got that <laughs> reference. For Catherine Hahn, blind you to the fact that her plan doesn't make a ton of sense, and her past implies that the Salem witch trials were kind of onto something. And despite what her absolute pop of a theme song claims, it's been Agatha all it wasn't. She barely knows what's going on either. I need you to tell me how you did this. I couldn't make heads or tails of it. It's been Wanda's repressed trauma all along. <laughs> the kind of nudge turn that direction doesn't exactly top the charts, though, huh? Are yeah, you it was number one. Fans? Imagine that no, Marvel fans come in to be strong. Be strong. But dissected frame by frame to predict what's coming next. As this show spawned a QAnon style army of forecasters <laughs> who were so sure that Mephisto would be The theories were nice though. Theorizing every week gave the friends something to talk about in this lockdown. Evan Peters casting was but there were so many Easter eggs that. Wrong. Just an elaborate boner joke. Damn. <laughs> and that the last episode had to have a Luke Skywalker level cameo. It was just vision on vision. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Together. How about Paul Bettany giving himself head instead? Giving himself head? 
Why can't you just accept the fact that the big bad for the MCU's first Disney Plus series was grief? Despite you have to spell it out on an announcement board. Yeah, it was grief. So if you've been feeling sad and hopeless lately and just want to mentally check out and fill all the voids in your life with garbage TV, catch the story of a superhero who does pretty much exactly that. <laughs> and at the end of the day, after all the trauma, follow her to the place all Marvel characters go once their arcs are done. A cabin. Some lonely ass <laughs> cabin in the woods. <laughs> Iron Man went to a cabin. Hulk went into a cabin. <laughs> the uh, Quake also went into a cabin. Thanos. <laughs> I guess Agents of Shield is in canon, but she went into a cabin. And wasn't it Hulk's cabin on top of that? See you at curtain call. Oh, she's so cute, though. Get the skin thing. Cuddle. Look at her. Every so many man crushes would develop off the show. <laughs> I mean, women crushes. You get what I'm saying. A lot of people have crushes on Elizabeth Olsen now because of the show. <laughs> Had to justify what I was saying. Was she complaining this much because she was actually taking care of Ralph Boner? <laughs> the twins. So many scenes. And what is this show? If not joy disappearing. If not joy disappearing. <laughs> what a way to sum it up. Sad sometimes. He was killed by Ultron. Maria died three years ago. Before what? I can't remember my life before Westview. I don't know who I am. You probably suppressed a lot of the trauma. But you're so crippled by your own self-doubt. And all you people who left still have the luxury of optimism. You have no idea what it was like. Oh, it's lost. The sad music is making it so much worse. <laughs> Yo, the sad music is killing me right now. Goddamn. Thanks for choosing me to be your mom. You are my son. Hex in the city. <laughs> Hex in the city. That's a nice one. If one ever needs backup, she should just call her neighbor Murtaugh from Lethal Weapon. Damn, it's the same set. Hey, Screen Junkies, are you the ultimate MCU fan? Click the link to sign up for the Fandom 5 Trivia Contest. I guess that's it. For all your made-up knowledge. Let's go. a DC person, click the link to join our live. Let's go to the... Hex in the city. That was funny. Big ups. That was funny. You really ripped the show in half. Oh, man. I really enjoyed it, though. If you want to see me really enjoy it, I did react to it on my channel. Just go to the playlist, WandaVision Season 1. And Falcon and Winter Soldier, we're going to explore what happened after the blip, the legacy of Cap and everything. Starting this Friday after the Snyder Cut. Hopefully tomorrow I have BVS up on my channel. Make sure you go watch Man of Steel right now if you're seeing this today. As I'm recording this anyway. I'm mad excited if you like. Like my reaction. Subscribe. Deuces. You know what I'm saying? Deuces. <laughs>